Good morning, folks. We've got continued solar eruptions, and they are continuing to luckily be aimed elsewhere in the solar system. Two yesterday were relatively sized, and we've got some articles on solar impacts and another on volcanic connections coming, but we'll start with our star, and you'll notice a filament release bottom right, and then at the end of the frame, another releases just behind the incoming northern limb. The Earth-facing sunspots are pretty quiet, but the eruptive regions on the far side are getting ready to turn back in to face Earth. You will see those filaments again here in 304 angstroms, bottom right at first, followed by top left. We'll continue monitoring these filaments and the incoming active regions. We're also going to take a quick peek at some of the eruptions on Soho. The eruptions were quite dense in the core of the ejection, and the densest part of those CMEs would have been problematic if something like that hit the Earth. We've gone over these impacts many times in their effects, but one of the ones that would be most greatly impacted is GPS lock. Good paper here on why that is the case and how accurate positioning data can be degraded by the solar storm impacts. We've also gone over the influences of these solar impacts on the weather, including a recent one on how the sun can impact sudden stratospheric warmings and breakdowns of the polar vortex. Here we see that process extended to impact the Madden-Julian oscillation, which plays a considerable role in the tropical storm formation and intensification, but this goes beyond the day-by-day -day forcing to modulation of the overall underlying conditions of system development. Lastly on the docket today is one on how magma systems are actually connected between lots of different volcanoes in the Cascadia Arc. It implies that if a serious disruption occurs at the entire system, there are several or perhaps multiple volcanoes that can be impacted simultaneously, including Mount Hood, Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, and Mount Adams. We greatly appreciate your support. Don't forget to sign up for our new e-magazine, Observer Review, just a couple days away from the first volume. Links to that and much more can be found below the video in the description box. Eyes on the sun as activity is likely to rise over the next week. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.